Girl, this is your sign to try a double twisted pony, but boho style. Keep watching to see how. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Ashley. And if you're a returner, hey, thank you so much for tuning back in with your girl. But let's just get right into the details about this double twisted boho pony twisted tail. <laughs> that can literally be a tongue twister, but I know y'all know what I mean. I am going in with some braid gel and going ahead and get my hair slicked up for this style. I do want this to be a sleek style, which is why I'm using this and really taking my time to mold my hair and make sure everything is seamless. I've been seeing the twisted pony lately and I just wanted to jazz it up by doing boho, but for me to get to that point, I got to make sure my ponytail is laying how I want it. So I typically do remold my ponytail about three times. It just helps to make sure I have everything combed up in the position that I want it. So everything is laying flat add in your kinky long your braiding hair you gonna add it in at this point but you're gonna have half of the hair in your face and the other half is gonna be with your natural hair you're just gonna take a rubber band or an elastic band and just go ahead and secure the back two pieces which is your hair and the braiding hair and then you're gonna flip over the braiding hair and add it to that ponytail that you just made it could look like we're done but wait we still gotta go ahead and get this pony together. So take out a piece of the hair. This will act as the wraparound to hide that elastic band and just to give it a more smoother finish at the root. At this step, go ahead and split that pony in half. Now, if you want this to be a triple twisted pony, you split it in threes. But for this style, I am splitting it in half. And I just like to make sure I get my natural hair split equally down the middle so one side isn't thicker than the other. And then I just make sure to have my two parts ready to go. This is how it looks from the back. You know, I love to show what stuff looks like from the back. My mold ended up waving. <laughs> So please excuse my hair. I like to go in with my Camille Rose Honey Nectar leave in. As y'all can see, I use it through and through. That, that, that bottle on had a time all right i added it to my natural hair ends and the top and back of my hair i like to section one part off so it's not in the way and then we're gonna go ahead and get it twisted so y'all for a twist you literally have to twist as you twist so it's not just like a one two i like to literally twist it almost like a spiral wrap it around that piece twist it like a spiral then wrap it around the other piece i hope y'all can see what i mean visually as i'm trying to talk about it i continue doing that down to my desired length and if you want to feed in hair you're going to literally twist that hair in so i will be showing that in a second because i'm doing some highlight pieces in this twisted pony so once i take that i use my middle finger as my holder and then i literally take it and twist it in to the pieces together that was a look at what I'm talking about. You literally do that as much as needed for the thickness that you need or for the length that you need. The next few clips will show you how I tie off the end of the twist and how I add in some boho pieces using the braiding hair. Hello, genius, saving money. You're not buying extra hair. And then I'm gonna curl it and we're gonna have our boho twisted pony. So keep on watching to see the finished results. I'm gonna let y'all vibe out because I've been talking a little too much. <laughs> Subscribe to come take off with me and to tune in for more videos, more how to's, more lifestyle. We're going to be coming with the videos. So I hope to see you guys along on my journey and in my next video.